So you might be in a situation where for some reason your tracking on your particular Apple Vision Pro has just failed. Now, this can happen for a couple of different things, but the main reason why this ends up happening for the most part is because you may end up having some sort of cover over your Apple Vision Pro or you're moving too fast or in a very weird area where it's not really taking it's not really, you know, able to kind of take the tracking hardware and kind of manipulate it with the software. So the reason why I was running into this problem, because I ran into this problem a lot, was mostly because my particular hardware had that, you know, cover over it. So I forgot to take my case off. So if you have any case on it, if you have anything covering the sensors, if you're covering it with your hand or your, you know, anything like that at all, you may just want to go and make sure you remove any of the covers or anything like that off, because that is probably going to be the number one reason and the problem that you're running into. So just try going through and actually fixing that, because if you are having that type of problem, that's really the only way to fix it for the most part, at least the easiest way to fix it. Now, if that doesn't end up working, the next thing you may want to try doing is completely restarting that headset. So what you're going to want to do here is you want to go ahead and hold down that power button at the very top of your particular headset until the device completely powers off. Then when it completely powers off, all you're going to want to do there is basically just wait it out until you can power back on. So when you power back on, you then want to go and put it back on your head and you should hopefully be able to see that the tracking field little pop-up you know is no longer there and all you're going to have to do here then is basically just go ahead and basically you know pop this thing back onto your head and use it as a normal device if it's still not working you can try following the steps again or you can try contacting apple and letting them know about this issue because if it is a widespread issue they can probably fix it for you for free and it's an expensive headset and i'd probably recommend doing that so that pretty much covers it up here if you have any other thoughts or questions let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that would be so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then